Hello. Hello, everybody. Today, I will be talking to you about the true description of, you know, the people in the Bible, Jesus, and the Most High God. All right. So many of our so many of our people are deceived, and I am going to show you what the Bible talks about how Jesus really looks like. So we're going to look up Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, white as snow. Let me ask y'all this. What type of race, what type of race on the, in the world has woolly hair? Here. Black people, right? And his eyes were like a flame of fire. Meaning that Christ had drunk wine, but he didn't. He didn't get drunk. He drank wine in moderation. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. This is the color of fine brass, right, right here. This is the color. Is this the color of fine brass? No, it's not. Do y'all feet match the rest of the color of your body? Yes, it does. Like, I don't know. I asked my cousin this. He said no, but like it actually does. Like, actually, this is the color of fine brass, right? Like, fine brass is a brown. It's a goldish brown burned. Well, goldish brown. And his voice. Well, actually, hold up. Start right there. His feet like them to fine brass as if they burn in the furnace. What color is fine brass? A goldish brown. You burn it, it becomes black. So that right there confirms that Jesus, like, do y'all feet match the, match the rest of the color of y'all body? Yes, that confirms that Jesus was a so-called black man. His voice had the sound of many waters, meaning that he talked really loud. Y'all know that in the Jesus films and all that stuff, he talked with a very common voice, but no, he, he talked really loud. Now we're going to move on with the Most High God, the Heavenly Father, looks like. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld. I beheld until the thrones were cast down, and the ancient days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. To have a garment on, you need a body. God has a body, whose garments was white as snow. His hair, and the head, they get into the hair, look at this. Look at this. The hairs, the hair on his head, like the pure wool. Black people have woolly hair. So, so don't, so don't say that. So don't, don't say that God is white when it literally says pure wool, which is nappy hair. His throne was like a fiery flame and his wheels was like a burning fire. Okay, so God has a, God sits, um, wait, hold up, hold up, well, yeah, God, God has, y'all gotta understand, everything that they taught us in slavery, white, the white man took everything from us back then, like, um, this, um, this white man, Name I um I think it's Sia Butcher. So yeah, he was the one who lied to us about Jesus being white because they painted him. They literally painted him. Hold on, hold on. This image. Don't this look similar? This looks similar, don't it?
Hold up. It looks similar, don't it? Hold up. I know. Yeah, this looks similar, don't it? Don't this look so similar? Reverend, he lied to us and said that Jesus was white. And they painted him as the image. of. Uh, they painted him. So the whole world got deceived. Y'all got to understand. Everything that the white men talk, taught us in slavery is, is a lie. Let's take a look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass that if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come up, come upon thee and overtake thee. People back then, people was not keeping God's commandments, so God had to put them in cap captivity, which is slavery. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. There is no other gods. There is no other, there is no other God with him. I kill and I make alive. Y'all gotta understand, God kills people. He can put you in a car accident. He can have a car run you over. He can give you cancer. He can give you, he can give you anything. Y'all just might not know when it's coming. He can judge you out of nowhere. So y'all gotta keep his commandments.